This episode of The Wolf Podcast is going to have slight spoilers for later portions of Persona 5 The Game. No worries, a timestamp and warning has been said within the podcast itself, so you can avoid said spoilers. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Wolf Podcast. Hello everyone, I'm Keenan47, aka Wolfkeen, and welcome to The Wolf Podcast, where we'll be talking about the fourth episode of Persona 5 The Animation, Steal It, if you can. With me today is... Hi everyone, DM, I am DM Comics, it's DM Phone 3000. Hey everyone, this is Florangy. Hey everyone, this is Mario Family 15, aka, AKA the guy who I think, like the rest of us here, can agree that this podcast is cursed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I cursed my intro too, so. It cursed your oh, intro, wow. It cur- it's cursing everything that's going on with me being tired as all hell and everything else happening and my mic freaky going out on me seriously this is this is the fourth fourth episode in a row where we have problems with this podcast there, we, there must be shitty adults behind in the in the background just like messing with the podcast they don't want us to finish yeah i, I Someone yeah. call the phantom thieves we need to change hearts yeah, yeah, yeah what are we yeah, gonna yeah. change <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. We need a name, and we need a location, and we need a cognition. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, folks, well, don't, don't... Yeah, we can start with Bill Gates. Oh, oh. Bill Gates. Uh, yeah, 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 folks, don't, don't be, don't be surprised that this podcast is just a little late since we're recording this on Wednesday due to like personal reasons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, before we actually get started with things, please note that any comparisons we make to the game, any animation, are done purely for analytical reasons. And also, this is one of the few times I will be putting out a warning at the very beginning of the episode, but we're going to be doing a fourth topic this time around due to something that was shown at the very end of the episode. But we're not yeah, going to get into it. Yeah, but we're not going to get into it now because I feel like a lot. Of, I feel like what's shown is a heavy spoiler, so. Yeah, um, and, 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 Sensor, and Sensor pretty much has nothing to do with the rest of the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty... so we're going to add a spoiler corner at the end. Yeah, so basically once we make it to, like, after we're done, like, with general, like, with general viewer, like, would they like it and such, you can pretty much stop watching the video at that point if you want to avoid spoilers. But beyond that, we're just going to go about this business as usual, and am I wrong to say that this episode's very conflicting? I am... Have such mixed opinions on this <laughs> i do as well uh, oh oh uh nelson before you uh, before you start you should probably give like a description of the episode oh yeah basically the well basically the general synopsis is now they sent the calling card to kamoshida which fun fact if you actually look at the way that the calling card is um like plastered it actually um actually spells out kamoshida's name in kanji <laughs> Mm-hmm. Which was interesting. They actually did that in the game too. Yeah, yeah li- it was a very nice touch. Yeah, like because the first two, co- because you know the kanji literally is com o, and then the second one is she da. And but that's what I'm trying to say. Like that is a cool little fun fact. Of course, this has an effect in Kamashita's palace, which now the treasure has materialized. The Phantom Thieves get themselves together. They also set up their code names, go to steal the treasure, and have to fight Kamoshida, which, yeah, we'll get into, like, some of that stuff once we actually get into our general thoughts. Which, speaking of that, Dean, what was your thoughts on this episode? Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, before, uh, before we get to that, um, guys, uh, Cole has something very interesting to say about the episode. Oh, boy, what? I do not have anything (laughs) interesting to say about the episode. (laughs) I have... A bullet pointed rant about the unnecessary butt shot that Anne has <laughs> later down the road. <laughs> Sexy Kato. <laughs> yeah, I remember that they tried to do that with code name, and it's like that was an actual choice in the game, and it's so stupid. I love that. <laughs> Always go with the great third option with the protagonist. Not, w- not one, but two on ass shots. <laughs> Within there two? five, ten seconds of each other, like, I'm sorry, but it's like, okay, the first one she's walking into the hall, I'm fine with. But then there's just the random one where they have, like, three seconds of filler. Apparently they couldn't think of anything else to include. <laughs> <sighs> Shut there's up, also... Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Dean, also... please. Oh, yeah. I, I can do my opinion now? Yes, go ahead. 
<laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Ass shots aside, um, we're probably going to see more of that when certain someone appears. I'm going to be honest here. Um, okay. Uh, opinion of uh, Steal It, if you can. Um, I, I generally liked it. There are things that I actually were really impressed with for the anime, and this actually coincides with Nelson's opinion from the beginning and how he felt conflicted about the episode. There were a lot of things that I was really impressed with, and there are a lot of things that I was really disappointed by at the same time. <laughs> it, it's like it culminated together to form this opinion of saying, it's all right. <laughs> I I have a lot to talk about, especially for the um, when we actually go over like comparisons between the game as well as the the anime itself. But overall, I think I liked it. I am I'm leaning on the side of it's a pretty good episode. It's just there are some notable issues that I have with it. Yeah, I, I'm actually say it. I don't think we're gonna spend a lot of time on the general section since major ninety percent of this episode is differences with the game. Well, that's like, the animation in a nutshell. We're just trying to... Well, 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 it feels like more so with this episode. Honestly, you know? I didn't really think there was that many differences. Really, there wasn't. There really wasn't all mm -hmm. that many differences. It's, like, the only way you would, like... I feel like the most differences are nitpicks. Like, this is kind of why I say we should try to avoid that if we can. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, is that all of you? Yep, that's it for me. Uh, Cole? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I still have to give my opinion. Uh, random pointless butt shots aside, um, <laughs> my feel... Shut up, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just not going to be able to get away from that. Oh, <laughs> I'm just going to also mention here that at one point when Tak is checking out Akira for her as being a test subject, she stares right at her ass. At his ass. Wait, what? <laughs> I looked... I watched the episode four times. I needed to double check. <laughs> Uh, and, I don't know why. Also, when Ren enters the LeBlanc Cafe, uh, for a split second, there's an ass shot of his as well. <laughs> what is it with this episode and ass shots? <laughs> Come on. I don't know. I'm still I waiting don't for the next shot. character's ass shot. <laughs> I regret <laughs> everything. Now. Oh, man, look at that ass. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that ass. 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 Hi, welcome to the first to the Wolf Podcast where we talk about butts for an hour. <laughs> hey, to be fair, in Fire, when I was talking with folks about Fire Emblem, we talked about women's chests. So there you go. Dude, we're, but the thing is, we're not even being exclusive. We're literally talking about every person's ass, not just girls Everyone with boys. Has ass. Hey, 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 Nelson, we got be, we got be equality to all of the characters. Oh my fucking lord, Cole, please. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, where am I again? Oh yeah, general thoughts. Yes. Oh my god, it's huh? god damn it. Oh, it's way too warm in here. It is way too warm in here. Okay, right. Uh, general thoughts. So, when I first watched the episode, um. I had, like, I guess the rest of you guys, very mixed feelings about it, and I have to admit, I still have very, very mixed feelings about it. There's stuff that I liked in it, like um, the inclusion of some of the music, speaking of which, Booming Villain finally showed up. Booming Villain actually showed up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there was also a lot of things about it that I really went... Uh, I really don't like how this is handled, like the demon recruitment. Oh, really? Because yeah. I kind of like that scene. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. There's just something about it that I really didn't like. Like, I liked how we saw things like how, like, red and red eyes glue that reddish color. But I didn't really care for this, how the scene was handled itself. Not really sure why. It just felt like it slowed the episode down, which is weird to say considering the, the series has already gone very fast. I, uh, did, I, did, I didn't even have to use my sexiness. That I mean, was I, funny. Yeah, that, was, that funny. was. There mm -hmm. were some really funny moments with the demon negotiation, but I, I think I understand that because, you know, they are supposed to 
you know, steal the treasure and all that. And if you play the game, you know that those are parts where you pretty much gun it for the treasure instead of, mm -hmm. like, worrying about mm -hmm. demon negotiation. Mm hmm I think that might actually be my problem, because, like, I get, get the feeling that it would be a scene that I probably wouldn't have minded if it was done in the last episode, assuming it would have even fit in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, so I guess that's my thought. My thought is that it's... My thoughts is that I just have very mixed feelings about it, and unrelated, but I also was found aware that the subtitles had spelling errors. Yeah, to me! <laughs> yeah, I yeah. noticed that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, show uh, a pick. Yeah, 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 T-M-E. Team. Yeah. It's to me for this Team. monkey to show what he can do. <laughs> and, uh, Zach, what is your general thoughts on the episode? Uh, like, like the rest of you, I am, I am very conflicted about this. I have lots of good and lots of bad, but, uh, but the one, but the one really good thing I will say about this episode, first and foremost, I love, I, I, same song, but I love the new intro, the visuals. Yes, the, oh, the, the visuals. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, intro, I love that visual. The new intro is way better compared to the one that they used, which only had clips from like the first and first few first couple of episodes. And which I was really disappointed with. Of all the promotional material too. Yeah. My um my favorite bit about the intro is is uh is is you as you see uh is you see Sai in front of like the police car. Oh, that was a good shot. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and it also transitions also to showing the back of another character who we know it is, but I'm not saying who. Yeah, like, try to keep names to a minimal, because a lot of these characters haven't been introduced yet. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, and, 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 and also tr uh, transitions to, like, Ren and, uh, Ren and Akechi going on both sides of, like, the little thing. I, I don't know how you... I don't know how oh, this guy the gets. symbolism is everywhere <laughs> yeah. in those scenes. I freaking love it. It, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't, yeah, it, yeah. It wouldn't be Atlas if there wasn't any symbolism. <laughs> yeah, it's a very good intro. Too bad it took four episodes to finally get there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's like I can understand this. I, I can understand this not being in the first episode, but by the second and third episode, it's like, come on, you need to have a proper intro at this point. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh! Now, 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 for a problem I did, I did have. Oh my God! That that. That CG on Kamoshito. Oh God. Yeah. Thank you for mentioning it. Yeah. Uh, it looks so bad. It's like, and the sad, and the sad part is they've gotten this kind of idea correct with Persona Four the animation and Persona Three the movie. Oh, oh yeah. It's like the fights studio, were so but, awesome. Wait, there. But but that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, Persona Four the animation like used like. In like you know, in animation, kind of like you know, animation basically. So it look it fit the world. Same thing with Persona Three, the anim well, Persona Three, the movies. But here, CG Kamoshida just sticks out. It's like he doesn't uh, belong. Yeah, and, 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 and yeah, it it does feel like a low quality render. Uh, honestly, they might have actually just been better off just using the in game model. It's not that big quality <laughs> either, but it would have worked. <laughs> yeah, the in-game model was much better than that, and I, was, and I was just looking at that. It's just like the way that they were able to like have him being all animate in the game and still within like the game style without being too different looked great. And this one, you can obviously tell. I can't believe I have to say it. It looked like he came from a low poly video game. You know, he <laughs> came from a freaking video game. <laughs> a PS One video game. A PS Two, maybe. PS Two, yeah. Yeah. PS Two. Oh yeah, he, he came. From, it's the unused boss from Persona Four. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, gosh dang it, Dean. Please, that's uh, an insult to Persona Four. Yeah, and I feel ashamed for myself for saying that. <laughs> okay, um, Zach. And, 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 and that transitions to another thing. Um, for a big climactic battle, the vibe was pretty lacking, pretty lackluster. It really was. Yeah, that's Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something that's consistently annoyed me so with some of the fights. They're either way too zoomed in, so you can't really see a whole lot, or they're very lacking in action. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, again, going back to Persona 4 and even Persona 3's animation slash movies, 
a lot of the action in those were short, but they were night, but they were satisfying in their shortness. Like, I think Dean can probably attest with me here. The first full moon boss that used, you know, the you know the train one from Persona Three's movie. That one oh, is yeah. that one's very short, but we get to see a lot of cool shit behind it. With like, you know, like Jinpei trying to fight it by its by himself and getting his ass thoroughly handed to him. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but there's but there's one but to go on to another good thing that I did like unlike unlike last episode I I actually did like the uh, the original music that was in this episode for uh, 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 both uh, both for uh, both for the fight with Kamashita uh you know second mu- music piece that plays and and when he's doing his uh confession thing yeah um, well, 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 it's, yeah, they're, they're really nice pieces of music. Definitely better than the one we had last episode. The last mm-hmm. surprise really doesn't fit the moment in the battle. Is... Uh, oh, uh... Well, uh, is, that, is that more so for comparison sake, Nelson? Not really, because we could we could say how, like, last surprise really doesn't work in the context of the battle. You could... <sighs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, why? Why last surprise? I have all the songs to pick from. <laughs> this is the last one you want to pick. It just feels a little bit too, like, basic for uh, a shift. Because that's what happens. It was a shift in the battle. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I yeah, even... like, they should have used the um, Persona Awakening music instead, because we haven't heard that yet. Well, yeah, I was going to say, that actually makes sense because he gets a new persona anyways. Yeah. So, yeah, like, exactly. Why not? It's it's weird because like that was one of the biggest things that I had a problem with this, especially for the spite. I mean, I was so friggin' happy that I heard Blooming Villain, but it was just like the beginning part of it, which yeah, that's cool. But after when they ran away and used the smoke bonds, it's like it's gone. And I'm like, no. Yeah, yeah especially, I, especially especially well, especially when considered right. especially as especially when considered it's like a triumphant note, you know, upbeat, upbeat part of it towards towards the end of Gloomy Hill one. Yeah, yeah they could. It's weird because like the, the the part where that I thought would have fit, where they had last surprise, it's like they had that. Yeah, they could have e- been so proper for that scene. Yeah, they could have mm-hmm. easily played it there, but no, they went with last surprise, and it just felt That's like it, it felt completely out of place. I feel like that right there ruin the like the shift in the battle basically and 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 like as cool as as ren looking like he's possessed by is when he summons his new persona it really was out of place and and i feel like i have to say this we don't we don't think last surprise is a bad song it's just it's so out of place in this anime Black yeah, surprise is an amazing song, but still. <laughs> yeah, I love the song, but still, it's like there so are happy. times and places to have it. Mm-hmm. And a ball and a massive, like climactic fight like this is not one of them. <laughs> uh, I'm not worried for like any future shadow or boss fights that that's gonna okay. happen. I might as well give my. Uh, I might. I have. Well, 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 just one more thing I want to say. It's it's a small thing, but uh, uh but but. But when they're about to uh, escape the castle, and and and, and I see her right, uh, for a brief second round on a uh, uh, looking, I just I I put on my notes. I still ship it, dang it! I still ship. All that, right. I really hate to tell you this, but if that magazine cover that I saw is anything to go by, the official couple is Ren and Yusuke. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. I need to get my general thoughts so we can get to the actual like differences because we're already going over on this one. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Um. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm conflicted about this episode for a multitude of different reasons. More so because for every good moment this episode has, both in differences compared to the game and on its own two legs, it also has an equal amount, if not more. Like, here's the thing. It's good moments are good, but it's bad moments stick out horribly. Oh, oh, I, 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 you mean you mean how you you mean like how we randomly see Ty, uh, Ty at the at LeBlanc? Yeah, and it's like she's just like, oh, look at this random high schooler. Hey, here's some medicine that is completely unregulated, and hey, if you want more, you can come see me because I'm looking for a test subject. Like what? 
Yeah, yeah whoa, 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 yeah. slow, but it's like slow. Walk. Like well, fucking what? And may I point out also that the sorry. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> and may I point out at, also that at no point, despite give, being given the gun, it never fired. They never used the medicine at all at any point of battle. Oh yeah. yeah, they never used the medicine. They used the gun, but they didn't use the they medicine at all. They don't even use all. the bandages. Yeah, which why that, not? That, those heal for 10 HP, Which, man. that was funny. <laughs> that was that was funny where they're like, well, we only got 100 yen. What are we going to do for medicine? Bandages! <laughs> and, and, there, and, there's just, and there's one other good thing I, I, I must say. I actually do really like the uh, the crown transition where we see Morgan jump for the crown, then Kamashita grabs it, and you, like, see him on, like, the floor. Uh, yeah, he okay. jumped really far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. I, I now just imagine him skipping. That was cool, and not to mention the kill shot, seeing it in action, like in the animation, was really cool. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. This anime, like this episode, had a lot of good things going for it, but a lot of its bad moments are so freaking like you know they just stand out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it it does. It, that's why I feel like the anime does like two steps forward and like another two steps back. For mm -hmm. it, it kind of counterbalances itself strangely enough yeah also you mentioned yeah, the kill for all shot, the good there's a lot of bad yeah that that's that's exactly how i feel about the episode <laughs> uh you mentioned the kill shot uh, there's only one thing that i find disappointing it didn't do the bullet ricochet that kamoshida does in the game like pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> no but i kind of like i didn't mind it the way it was because holy shit was it just like I kind of imagined it to be, like, that deadly that, like, if you weren't, like, you know, it would hurt quite a lot. Oh, 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 oh. You want to talk about a funny thing? I I, I, I just saw, uh, we were talking to Kamashita, and we're kind of basically shit-talking Ryuji. Ryuji's just like, I'm going to kill that cat. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, weird because Ryuji is an option to send out. It's just I never did because I thought he would notice. Well, so... I always sent Ryuji. I never on though okay um I, you can't send on i think he notices we're immediately all, guys we're yeah. all yeah, topic yeah i think if you send on it's an insta fail um but i always send mona honestly yeah <laughs> guys, guys we're off topic uh, this is still for Sona five <laughs> i know it's just we're over time with the general thoughts that's what i'm saying okay fair enough but anyways yeah Fine. yeah <laughs> yeah we've got like you know we've got a lot to talk about so clearly but um yeah like i said I feel like with this episode, there's so much, there is a lot of good, but almost all the, like, a lot of the bad moments just stick out far more than the good, and that's unfortunately one of the biggest problems with this episode. But, now it's time to get into the, to the differences between the game and the animation, and like I said, Zach, let's try not to nitpick too much, because... Well, all right, I can't, can't, all right, well, in that case... Oh, go ahead. But Nelson, it's Zach, he nitpicks everything. Yeah, and he nitpicked I feel the like shit I, out of that last scene. <laughs> I feel like I have to name every detail. Oh. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. We're trying to avoid the idea of, oh, we're fans that nitpick the living crap out of everything because we wanted to be exactly like the game. Okay, right. okay. All right, if you want to talk about comparisons, I'll start off on a really, really uh, high note. Uh, 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 we don't really get to see... You know, get don't worry, you get to see us in the game, but I lo I love the two times we actually see the hospital. Yes. yes. Oh yeah, that was yeah. great. <laughs> that was super freaking good because we actually mm -hmm. see Shiho in coma, and we actually see her wake up from the coma as well. Mm -hmm. I had feels when that happened actually. Mm -hmm. That's like but, it was so yeah, it felt like... so good to see her like actually doing well and waking up from that. It's like wow. Oh. I, 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 yeah, I keep... it, it felt more impactful than just hearing about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I actually, I actually think this is one, uh, one element that is definitely handled better here than in the game. And dude, I yeah, just like, like if we get if, sorry, go ahead. And I just love the fact that we see on breakdown as well. Like, holy shit, I felt so bad. I felt like for her in that moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would feel happy for her because a she got her revenge and b her best friend's gonna be okay. That's that's great, especially yeah, since that whole story arc's about around her on that. Mm -hmm. Oh oh and, 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 oh and there and speak and there's like one other big difference. Um, I, I put this in my notes. They are meeting in the palace at 
night. Cool. Yeah, Stand up. 1 a.m. I checked the time. They actually went to the palace at 1 a.m., mm -hmm. which I find to be a little surprising, but also a little unrealistic for one reason. I was right able to sneak out. <laughs> well, yes, that's one. And two, the trains. Mm -hmm. I... Oh, yeah, that's right. Don't the train stop at 1230? Yes. So. Dude. Yes, and here's the thing, that's Tokyo yeah. trains. Remember, Tokyo trains shut down at a at a late night time. Yeah, and like I ha I did a little bit of research for, uh, for my writings and stuff and I think that they shut down from 12:30 to 4 a.m. Yeah, which would make no sense because um a person that I watched by the name of a German spy aka Franz, he did the ma he did an act he actually routed the main character's um um, travel route by train it would take him from from you know to get from um yogan jaya which you know based off of a different stop to oyoma each uh, like to ioma ichome it would take it would take ren about 30 minutes to get there mm -hmm. because you know because first he has to take a train from like you know yogan jaya to um shibuya which then he has to transfer to the ginza line and allowing him to base and then like you know transfer into the Ginza line, which takes him to the Ayama Ichome um, train station, which apparently the longest trip is the um, the trip from Yongin to Shibuya. That's a twenty minute um, uh, train ride, whereas the one from Oya from Shibuya to Oyoma is only ten minutes. Um, I'm, I'm mm. sorry, no, so I kind of blacked out there for a second. Well, basically, I, I'm so much info dump. <laughs> well, that's what I'm trying to say. It would take it like by train. It would take thirty minutes. If the trains are not running, how the hell would he get there in a in a in a decent time frame? Well, I, I was just to about walk, to, but I think it's an hour long walk. Hour and uh, a half. Last I looked it up. Hour and ten, hour, maybe. Hour and a half. Unless he got there like an hour before the, like the train closes. That one... uh, mind if I uh, like think about, or at least say my thoughts on this? I, I think yeah, there ahead. is a. It's possible that that could have happened because you said that the trains are closed like at twelve thirty to four thirty, right? Yeah, I believe it was twelve thirty to four a.m. They're closed for cleaning. Here's what I'm thinking: like they could have like sp spent some of their time like. Um, uh, like, say that they left around, like, 11 or something, and they took the train over to um, over to the school and just waited until they either did some minor preparations if, like, stores are open before they actually decided to take on the job. And then they spend a, a long time inside that castle in order to actually, like, traverse it and get to the, the treasure. So that would take a considerable amount of time. So, and, of course, taking on uh, Shadow Kamoshida... So what I'm thinking is, is that by the time that they finish, it would probably be around like 4.30. Like it takes them about four hours to actually complete through the palace and take it down and steal the treasure. But do you realize so that would, but do you realize so they would have, um, go ahead. Go but ahead. you realize in that same kind of context, that means Ren didn't get back home till at least 5 a.m. And that's insinuating that Sojiro didn't come around at any point. Because remember, he doesn't own a business. He has to come in early for, like, whatever reason. But she, Yeah, like, but Ren, Sojiro, getting, Sojiro, Ren sneaking out, I can see. But sneaking back in might be more difficult. Unless he decides to climb the window, which I doubt. <laughs> well, that, like, reflexes. <laughs> well, then again, well, then again, he is the one that locks up the store when Sojiro leaves. Mm-hmm. Man, so that's mm -hmm. kind of like th I know this is a weird thing to bring up all in in this, but it's still something to think about because even I got to admit it makes no sense. Like, there's a difference between this and Persona Three. Persona Three, the train, the trams ran on a bit of a different schedule. Because hey, 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 no, so I don't mean to interrupt you, but uh, I think we're going a bit too long on this particular subject. We are, but it's still something to really... It's a weird sort of difference compared to the game. Like, I think it's a cool little difference because, you know, like, it may, like instead of you, like, doing it the very next day in the afternoon, you do it on the same day they sent it. It Like, you know, they did it on the same day they sent it and did all the preparation on the same day. Mm-hmm. Mm. Which I think... Which I, 
I do like as a concept still because that still means that they actually utilize their time more effectively than what you would do in the game. No, wait, what? Wasn't it the other way around that you when you said you had to go into the palace the day you sent the calling card? No, you the didn't day, get an extra day. No, you got it. You had to go the very next day. Yeah, like you when take you, time to send it. You basically use up your afternoon. Then that night you can do your preparations. Then the immediate next day, you have to um, well take on the take on the palace. Yeah, exactly. So. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Sorry, I got a little bit confused because it sounded like you said like send calling card but then you have an extra day to finish the palace when you actually go to the palace right when you send the calling card or right when the th they notice the calling card mm -hmm. yep mm -hmm. but still I do like the way they went about it in the anim in the animation it was different compared to the game and I kind of liked it it basically reminds me of a later part in the game that you know again we'll discuss when the animation catches up to it yeah mm -hmm. th that when they the moment that they should have done throughout the rest of the game, but I digress. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, by the way, if there's another comparison I can bring up, I put I put this here in my notes. Joker just got a game over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, game over. yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> like, real talk, when I was looking at that scene, I am utterly convinced that Igor deliberately just knocked him out and was like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, your game is over. <laughs> <laughs> so the funny thing is, that reminds me of Persona 3, mo the Persona 3 movie, where, um, at the, like, you know, at the moment where Junpei tries to charge the, like, you know, the boss shadow by himself again, he, like, you know, Makoto awakens to, um, the power of the wild card, and is then able to summon another Persona. Here's the thing, I... Is it wrong for me to say that I don't like the way they handled it in Persona 5? What? Well, 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 you mean fusing the, the demons? Shadows. Shadows, whatever. Sorry, Semantic. Personas. But Wait, here... fusing them? Or in it... general? Or no. how they did it in the anime? I really don't like the way they handled that in the anime because instead of Joker awakening to the Persona that he already had, which was Pixie, he instead just used two personas and got a new one completely yeah that was what i had a, an issue with because it they didn't establish that he was able to wield multiple personas instead it's like oh yeah you recruit pixie and i'm like all right cool and then it's like oh we immediately lose her and we fuse our sen <laughs> yeah yeah i think it actually would have been better for him to switch to pixie without realizing it F yeah. first and that they save the execution for a later time like during the next arc and yeah. they shouldn't have fused Arsene but that's uh, that's just me yeah because this, yeah. this is the first time I was kind of hoping that Arsene would have been Izanagi in P4 animation yeah yeah it's like he's he remains around and he's kept as like sort of the main persona but mm -hmm. no we'll just fuse him away and given how fusions work in yeah. Persona 5 it acts it, him off. The, yeah. the, the, only, the only thing I can see this maybe working is that, is that even though he's gone, he's like, he's still somehow still constantly talking to him or something. Yes, yes. They, yeah. they, they, establish, they establish that literally with him saying, well, I did, well, I disappear now. I like, you know, I will always remain by your side and we will meet again at the climax of your, like, you know, of your journey. Which is mm. lame if they're going to be waiting for that long. That's your main we'll see guy. Him at, again in episode twenty-four. No. <laughs> but this is what I'm trying. But this is what I'm trying to say. This is the first time in the persona in any kind of persona animation where the main persona is used in fusion, and probably we're not going to see again until the very end. I'm hoping not. I hope they just say, "Oh yeah, just spend forty-eight hundred yen in the compendium and buy him back." But <laughs> it's. <laughs> I don't know. It's just really dumb and how they were just like, oh, yeah, here's your main persona. This is the one that's going to be your buddy throughout. Oh, well, yeah, we, we need to use him for fusion real quick. Hold on. I just hope he still talks to him. What a stupid freaking persona to replace him with, too. Well, 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 that, well then again, Dean, Arsene does kind of suck in the actual game. I know. Arsene was okay. So does he He's an Augie, but so he's, the, the well, anime, his anime worse. still made him a powerhouse. So does Orpheus. 
Orpheus oh. sucks worse. He doesn't have resist anything. No, he and he's has... weak to thunder, which the first boss you fight is thunder based. But that's off topic. <laughs> but so all we're saying here is that yeah, the initial personas may not be good, but at least they're symbolic. So I don't oh. know why they decided to axe off our son. And oh. is such a cool design too. That's I just begging to be kept. That's just screaming, keep this dude around. Now on that on that same caveat, if I can like chime in for a minute now, I actually kind of like the fact that they had to go through the palace again while it was on high alert mm. because in the yeah. game you could fast travel to like safe rooms that you've been to. Here they can't they had to go through the entire thing again. Hey, hey, hey Dean, they didn't use fast travel this time. Oh. <laughs> Well, there's. Oh, you decide to do it the hard way. I see. I don't. I don't mind that honestly, because yeah, because when they when they secured their infiltration route the first time they went through, the security level was basically nothing. So of course, most of the security was not even like you know, like involved as of right now. But when you know they sent the calling card and then they were going through the castle again, like they were on high alert. They were pretty much like they know exactly what they, like what they were expecting. And, 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 it makes, and it makes perfect sense why uh, why those why that uh, you know why that trap activated. Yeah, because they're trying, they're doing everything they can to keep the treasure from being stolen to the point mm -hmm. that Kamoshida was literally like he does this in the game as well, where he waits for you to try to take the treasure, but instead of waiting for you to actually carry it out the room, he's literally waiting in the room to basically be like, "Nope, mine, motherfuckers." <laughs> you still some form Morgana. Yeah. <laughs> I really wish that uh, Morgana also cuddled with the crown for a bit like they did in the game. But, uh, honestly, but that's a... Uh, oh, yeah. He, can't, he, can't he does nuzzle it. Yeah, he, he does, does yeah. It. And also, Later. if I can, if I could say something real quick. Yeah, CG yeah. Kamoshida's pretty bad, but I do like that they actually incorporated the stuff that you would have saw in the game. Like, you know, licking the little wine glass with the on cognition he has to increase his mm -hmm. attack. Eating the legs, the cup full of legs to get his health <laughs> back. God, that's still gross. And it helps. And, 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 and in fact, you have to destroy that to, uh, you know... To make it not regain health, I think? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, he gets to check it. And hell, when they knock the crown off of his head and then do the all-out attack, that was fucking cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was actually well-timed. Especially since, like, Ren was actually holding the gun up to him. Like, how he initiates an all-out attack, too. Mm-hmm. Like, that was cool. And even then, like, even after the all-out attack was done, that wasn't the kill shot. And then just Ren did, like, one more attack on him, and that was the end of that. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 oh. And, and there's one other... Uh, uh, one difference I like, um, uh, okay, okay, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, because, um, I don't know the name of this song, but, but I'm sure you guys are familiar with the song in the Persona 5 whenever, like, uh, a villain, con you know, confesses to their sins and what have you. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, you know, like, like how in the game when Kamashia confesses in, like, the gym area, you hear that the yeah. piano piece. Yeah, the piano tune, but I can't remember the I name. Do like that the, I do like that many of the uh, that the dialogue in that scene was actually changed up a little as well. Mm -hmm. uh, was well, it changed? I... A little, a little. And also, I love the fact that the teachers tried to restrain him and take him out of there. Well, yeah, uh, I, I, he, I, I, he was about to confess that he was going to freaking kill himself, so... <laughs> well, the, 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 the reason I brought up that song is that... Is that I actually like how that song is used when uh when An is basically yelling that Shadow Kamashita has really beat him. Mm -hmm. That that was a good use of that song. That was. Yeah, I was also surprised that okay, this might be because like the game never shows like Passage of Time, which you know I'm actually kind of grateful for, but I'm surprised that they actually had it so the next the immediate next day is when the change of heart happens rather than waiting three to two weeks. For the change of heart to occur, that was an interesting um, thing that they did. And it makes well, 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 in the game, you literally only have two weeks. Well, yeah, that's the thing. It's like I guess because the game had to go with the reasoning of, oh, it takes about a week for the change of heart to take effect. But I'm guessing realistically, it would it would technically be like the immediate next day. That's when it's gonna technically happen. And... Or it might take a day or two, depending. Yeah, so I think I like that change that they went with for the for the anime, especially for you know keep things going and all. Oh, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and since we uh, and since we alluded to this uh, uh, early on, 
uh, uh, this is the episode where they, where they actually do uh, where they where they actually come up with the code names. Yeah, what? It, yeah, but yeah. The, but the funny thing is, Joker's code name isn't established until after the fact because they couldn't really come up with anything that works. I, I, I love how Ryuji wanted to call him Go Go Mask. <laughs> go Go Mask. Yeah, yeah but go-go like I said, they had, the, they had the table, the discussion, and Morgana literally said the reason why he came up with the idea of calling him Joker is because, you know, of his ability. Like, you know, the Joker is the wild card, and his ability mm-hmm. is that of a wild card. Like, it could be anything, basically. Yeah. Oh, 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 also, also I, I, really, I really like to. I really like the I really like the scene uh, where they're in the gun shop and you're just kind of like, oh, hi, EY. Uh, I do. I did kind of laugh <laughs> at that. But again, that leads to one of my favorite scenes where after they buy the gun, they barely had any money. You want to know what? That's uh, that's what happens to us when we played Persona 5. <laughs> we spent our money at the yeah. gun uh. shop and had nothing for medicine. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I, 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 I life right there. Ryuji uh, was thinking what we all were. Yeah, oh, I, I love I love how Ryuji, the the guy that acts all tough, can't actually deal with tough guys. <laughs> no, his no, guts no. wasn't high enough. Yeah, yeah, his guts wasn't high enough. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even try to haggle you. Why? He just like bought it at the standard price. You should be grateful. Uh, oh my. Um, uh, if I remember right, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but. The way Morgana explains the calling card in this episode isn't like just a tad different, if I remember. Or uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Not much. I, think I don't think so. And even if it and even if it is, that's a nitpick, honestly. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Zach, uh, I, king of nitpicks. <laughs> uh, uh, speaking of nitpicks, I said in previous episodes. I'll I'll say it again since I since I always have it written down my nose. There's still no music remake, and Carolyn and Justine haven't gotten names, introduced names yet. Which is still weird. It's yeah. like they even were used for Fusion, so... Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of yeah. weird in how they haven't been introduced their names yet. If there's one more major difference I can at least come up with is... Again, uh, well, I do I do kind of laugh at this one, how um, Sojiro found out, found out Morgana... Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Did, that did get a chuckle out of me because, like, in the game, Sojiro, like, is actively against it, but then thinks, like, actually, maybe this is a good idea f- to keep him in a, like, you know, in a good, like, you know, in, like, you know, from getting in trouble. I, 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 I like how, yeah, I like and how. I admit I have mixed feelings on that just by extension of the fact that they made Sojiro so much nicer in the anime than he was to you in the game. Because in the yeah. game, that was, like, the first clue that he wasn't as bad. Yeah, because he was like, I, I wanted to name him. Yeah, he literally I, I, brings I, I, Morgana I love, I love food. How, I, I, love how, I love how they kept that in the anime, where he's just like, oh, I want to name it. And he even says, hold on, I think I have some leftovers for the cat. I even love how Red just kind of looks at Morgana, because it's like, yeah, he's getting treated nicer than him. <laughs> it's like... What? Yeah, it's like like random stray cat. Oh, here I'm gonna get you some leftovers. I even wanted to name you, random kid who has a criminal record. Why am I dealing with this shit? <laughs> <laughs> you listen here, you little shit. <laughs> that's the that's the beautiful part is that I did get a chuckle out of that. I don't think there are that many more. I don't think there are any more major differences. Honestly, if I... there's if there's just one small difference I can think of. It's 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 at the gun. It's at the the stuff at the gum shop. Definitely happens. Uh, definitely happens later in the anime. You know, unlike in the game. Again, that's a nitpick because I. Literally... I know. I know. Yeah, dude. 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 I know. Yeah, I know. cool your jets here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Again, yeah, technically. We don't know that. For all we know, it did happen the same day. Ooh. Uh, hmm. Yeah, like, literally, they did all... And the thing is, they were thinking about going into the palace immediately, but Morgana, themse- and Morgana himself literally said, we should prepare first. And that's where they went and got the equipment they need. That's where they got the gun, and they got the bandages. What can I say, guys? I, I, I want to compare everything. Yeah, um... Uh, uh... A proper comparison would be Takami, how oh, Takami uh, gives Ren the medicine instead of in the game where she's much more uh, skeptical about his intentions. Instead of just being like, here's a drug, let me know if it kills you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was, 
That was like a really don't. That was a really opinion. stupid like thing. Yeah. It, it was forced. Like I I liked how they handled it in the game because like in the game she was suspicious of you. It was like, oh, you really and, want this medicine? What's this and, for? And, and, and she's so secretive about it. Like no yeah, she, know about this. Like yeah. remember in the game she locked the door before like during her discussion because like it's it's a secret. I feel like that's gonna be brought. That I, feel, I feel like that's gonna be brought up later. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's like in the anime, it's like she's just, here, let me know if it kills you. And Sojuro is just standing there not giving a flying fuck about it. Yeah, like, he's just like, he, oh, the don't, don't he... harass the kid. Here's the drugs. Only, the only thing he says is, don't tease the boy. <sighs> yeah, and then, oh, boy, boy, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. The scene ends. <laughs> oh, my fucking lord. But anyways, <laughs> I think that's it for the comparisons, honestly, because... Again, there are not that many major comparisons compared to the game, and a lot of the changes that they made, we can all agree a lot of them are pretty good. Like, again, the like you know the hospital scene with An and Shiho, and... I don't... There, 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 there's lots of good and lots of bad here. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I guess, it's a mixed bag. So I guess now we can move ourselves towards the next topic, which is... Is this a good episode? Was this a good episode for a general watcher, and was this good for a fan? So, Dean, um, actually, for a general audience, I I actually had some input on it. Um, someone on Twitter actually did like kind of saw a little clip of the episode, and they even noticed on how bad Kamoshida looked in CG, <laughs> which which is which you can tell is noticeable to a general audience, even without being a fan of the game. But um, as for general audience, uh, it definitely gets a lot of the like game mechanics across, especially on just how the game works overall. Um, especially since I can't believe we didn't bring this up, the way that guns were explained in this one was actually handled a lot better than the friggin' game. Yeah, because yeah, because literally Morgana like yes, Ren didn't even know that it would work like that. Like when he held up Pixie, he never shot it once. I guess because he thought because it's a fake gun, it wouldn't actually fire. But when he actually fired it in the like you know against Kamoshida, he was kind of shocked. Like, what this works? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I find it a little bit weird that they didn't bother to establish that before they got into the boss fight that could potentially kill them. <laughs> yeah, but still, I like the idea that they actually like. Oh, here, the gun actually looks like a gun. It will function like a gun, and they did uh, it in front of yeah. someone that actually. Uh, you know, could relate to the real world and all that. Um, but, uh, 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 unlike in the game where Ryuji just happens to have a toy gun. Well, actually, he <laughs> prepared for it. Like, he literally, he prepared for bringing medicine and a toy gun during the second visit you go in. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hell, he probably got that gun from EY. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, he says he bought that from you know, from him the other day. But mm -hmm. I prefer, I prefer the way the anime handles it. Yeah, I do as well. But, um, Dean, you were saying? Uh, just uh, my general thoughts on that, because I, for general audiences, I think that um, they they might enjoy the episode fine. It's a, it's a, still a good way to end the uh, Kamoshida arc, especially the ending overall. It's it's filled with triumph. It, the Fan of Thieves did their first job. Things worked out A-OK. -okay. But for fans, uh, you might notice some off things, like, Kamoshida shadow self that's definitely like really off but there are plenty uh, of things uh, to appreciate uh, as well uh, and, uh, and Takemi as well yeah, Takemi yeah. Is, of course oh, um, oh, oh. for me oh, sorry, go ahead. for me though I think I nitpick mostly the music if anything the music choice for a lot of moments in this one episode I felt were just really off we mentioned Last Surprise being played like ill properly but I was looking forward to Blooming Villain, but they only, like, played the beginning. But, yeah, that that's just my, how I feel. If you love the music of Persona 5, you will notice some things that are off when they're supposed to play it. Blasphemy. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I, I think that it's there are still plenty of things to like about it. Like, there are, you know, general things that actually worked a lot better than the game did, and it worked in the anime. So, yeah. There are some brownie points I can give for this, but I have to take away some of it because they were they didn't do some things right. Oh, 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 oh! And I and I can just say this: I uh, uh, I can't be the only one to think uh, that 
I can't be the only I can't be the only one who who mixes up Ans and uh, and Ty's last name. I get them mixed up all the time. Well, it's Ty to Kemi. <laughs> Kemi's the last name. And the yeah. way and the way Ans last name can be pronounced is uh, Takamaki or. Takamaki. Uh, Takamaki. Yeah, Takamaki. Yeah, I don't okay, know how that would be. They both sound really similar. It's all right, Zach. I get them mixed. I sometimes get them mixed up from time to time too. But anyways, Cole, you're. Uh, what do you think? What do you think about this episode for a general viewer and a fan? Oh wow. Um. Well, I can definitely say, at least from the my fan, my social circle in the Persona Five community, not a whole lot of us really liked that episode. The episode too much. <laughs> um, one person I know even and said that they thought that with episode two and three was going to get better, but episode four fell flat on its face for them. So I think, I think that a fan is going to have a generally lower opinion of the episode than a casual viewer. I think a casual viewer might get some enjoyment out of it. Yeah, I can Mm -hmm. see what you're saying. Hey, 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 Mm -hmm. hey, 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 Cole, make, make Dan watch it. (laughs) No, nah, I'm not going to make Dan watch this because he feels more comfortable watching stuff when it's dubbed rather than having subtitles. Yeah, Assuming well, we get a dub of this. We probably will at some point. I mean, Persona 4 got a dub, so... True. But, but yet, Persona 3 movies didn't. We mm-hmm. might see it sometime soon, but anyways. Um, is there anything that you want to add, Cole? Um, well, not... For like the casual versus fa- versus P5 fans, but I do want to say something that I didn't get a chance to um, in the general thoughts. Um, I, if Persona 5 the game gets a crimson, golden, or whatever edition, I hope that they add the scenes of Shiho in the ho- waking up in the hospital and us seeing An's reaction to the game. I really mm-hmm. hope that they do because that was really, really sweet. Yeah. It was, and On literally says that she only regains consciousness for a little bit before falling back asleep. Well, naturally falling back asleep instead of being in an induced coma. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And yeah, I agree with you on that one. That's why I say there are a lot of moments in the animation I would love to see like put into the game. That's definitely one. Mm-hmm. Yes, I agree. Um, Zachary, you're, what do you think? What do you think about this for a general viewer and a fan? Uh, I, I think for a general viewer, they, although a uh, little, little more likely, uh, real, uh, uh, like the episode, there's, you know, there's like lots of, you know, there's like lots of good things in it. They, they, they might notice a few odd things like, uh, uh, like, who the heck is, and, you know, like, who the heck is this doctor? Oh, God, why is, why does CG Kamashia look so ugly and, 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 and et cetera. But, but I think for the most part, they'll, uh, they'll probably like it. As for a fan, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh yeah, I, 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 I may have like nitpicked a few things, but I can imagine some other fans nitpicking the fuck out of this uh, with, the, uh, with, with the majority of things. Uh, and and I, th- I think I'm like, I think I'm like us. I think they'll have like definitely a lower opinion on it, but it, they might, they might still like it, if even just a bit. Oh, there's still some I things think to like about it. The episode is most. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go I ahead. think the episode could be considered passable, to be honest, but there's definitely problems. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not, not, uh, 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 not, not as problematic as the first episode, but definitely still has lots of problems. Well, um, mm-hmm. if, if I can for a moment, during the first episode, I pretty much said that this wasn't a good episode for a general watcher and a fan. Because, unfortunately for a general watcher, the episode was going too fast, and for a fan, there were a lot of things that were missing that you would have expected to be there to help, like, add on to the story. This episode sort of has a bit of a different problem, where the pacing is fine, and yeah, there are chinks in, and there are chinks in the armor, but a general watcher ain't gonna notice it as heavily, unless you're, like, someone like me who thinks very critically, as a fan it's like this Mm -hmm. is one of the few times where i believe a casual watcher will enjoy this episode more than a fan if you're a fan you're gonna notice the problems far more than you are if you're just like someone who is watching this because someone recommended it to you Mm -hmm. and that's mainly because you don't really have anything to look at it towards it's the same sort of thing that people talk about when comparing persona 5 to the previous persona games 
I remember one person saying that their first Persona was Persona 5, and then they went back and played 3 and 4. They pretty much said that if they played 3 and 4 first and then played 5, their opinion would have been different. So that's sort of the trick here. That's kind of why we've done the topic of is this a good episode? Is this a good episode for fans or is this a good and is this a good episode for a general watcher? Because an opinion can always change depending on your experiences and the reference you can look back towards. Mm -hmm. So for a casual mm -hmm. watcher, this kind of an episode because a casual watcher doesn't have anything to look back towards, yeah, they'll enjoy it. But a fan that does have something to look back towards, they're going to notice the chinks in the armor heavily. The only thing that might really bug a casual watcher, and this is a <laughs> nice uh, transition, uh, they might be really confused, uh, let's say, by the ending, the post credit scene. And that's not a good oh. transition, Zachary, because I need to say something about that. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Because here's the thing. Okay, so at this point, we're going to be delving into, as I as I probably said it, like, yeah, as I put it in the description at the beginning of the video, some spoilers. We're going to be talking about some later parts of the game, which I'm pretty sure the anime will also cover later. But let me say this right now. If you don't want to get spoiled about later parts of the animation or later parts of the game, um, I'm going to put a timestamp right now on the video so that way... You can skip ahead. You know where to skip to, so we'll be done with the spoilers. And by the by, guys, when I say we're done talking about it, no more hints of it once we make it to the end. Okay. Uh, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Because because I feel like this is a type of thing where it's just like we where it's like we have to talk about the spoilers because it's very hard to talk about without spoiling anything. So again, yeah, ex exactly. So again, guys, so again, everyone, if you want to avoid the spoilers, go to the timestamp so you can make it to the end of the video. As for everyone else, and just to give you a bit of a time, three, two, one. All right, then. Holy crap, that ending part that they added, even though it was only about seven seconds long, it just, it just ruins a lot of things. My, the, the only thing I put in my notes were, who, what, where, how? Why? I have so many questions. Just to be that guy for a, just to be that guy for a moment, it's very clearly obvious that this takes place after the school festival in uh, in November in November. Mm -hmm. uh, I think yeah. October actually. October November. Yeah, but... October October. Yeah. yeah. October. Mm -hmm. Because remember, it happens in late October, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's what I'm trying to say. Like, this is definitely clearly after the events of the school festival when Akechi actually calls out the Phantom Thieves. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, and I definitely know it's the later part because we see because we say uh we see Yusuke and Haru and Futaba and Makoto on the team. Yeah, we see Yeah, the, the fact that Haru's there is the huge red flag, because that gives you the good idea of where it is. Yeah, exactly. And the fact that Akechi is literally talking about how Oh, I first found out about you guys because of a later event that happens, which hints towards the next event that's going to happen in the animation, which is involving Matarame. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When I watched it a second time, I, I can definitely see uh, um, uh, where they were going. Uh, they're going to the Matarame stuff because uh, because because of the Sayuri picture that show is. Yeah, it's a I... really odd way to transition into that, though, because not in at least. And yeah, we're, I'm going to do the comparison thing because in the game, not only a few days later do they run into Yusuke and start that arc. They could have easily just trans shown an extra scene that showed like y Yusuke and Matarame talking in the car or something like that. They yeah, could have spot on or something. Yeah, yeah they like could have. They could have literally had Yusuke and Matarame talking in the car, and then literally had the scene end with Yusuke catching an eye on on on. Mm -hmm. Because literally, mm -hmm. he chased her from Shibuya. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 He literally chased... That's impressive, considering who Yusuke is. Well, <laughs> that means that he also got on the train with them. Mm-hmm. Very impressive. I, 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 it's just like, the whole scene was ten seconds long, but there's a lot to unpack there. Yeah. I, I think part of it is like they were trying to fill like the Akechi quota where Akechi has to appear in once at least per episode. But wow, did they but pick But there's even other ways they could have done that too. There they, are. Yeah, they could have totally because 
they could have like looked through like a police report and just like, oh, here comes this uh, this school teacher who apparently turned himself in for sexual assault. And then, and, the one and, then there's, and then there's a calling card that's attached to it, and that could be like the first red flag towards a catch you like, wait, like what is this? Yeah, and yeah. even like trying to hint at uh, what the next arc is going to be because it's the Madarame arc and going to focus on Musuke. Woo, but I. Oh. There are better ways of doing it. Like, we mentioned, like, they could have just spotted on from the car, but he could have also shown, like, uh, Yusuke, like, working on a on a, on a painting for Madarame and was just, like, conflicted with himself or something like that. Uh, uh, something uh, to hint at that subject. Oh, and Zach, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go too far. Like, we're only talking about up to this point where they first... Introduced... I know, I know, I know. I'm right, just I making know, sure. Uh, 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 and, and, oh, God. I, I, I... I... I have this. I have this weird feeling that for like the next episode, it's gonna be like a flashback within a flashback. Yeah. And we're, <laughs> oh God damn! I hope not. I yeah. really hope not as well, because again, like I feel like the animation is kind of hammer fisting in Akechi's importance a little bit too much. I think that's the point, uh, which is why I'm a little bit nervous later on when uh, you know certain scenes happen. But yeah, also, I, also I, makes... I kind. Of... Uh, 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 oh, sorry. Makes, <laughs> it also we all makes crashed me... into each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Cole, what were you All gonna right. say? Uh, <laughs> what? Um, Cole, what? Well, let Cole say something real quick because she was saying something. Okay. Well, I, I, I think I know why they're trying to keep a catchy in the one in his quota thing because it's been announced that there's going to be some kind of deviation from the source material. And given some of the new data that was mined from the game itself recently, I kind of have my guesses as to what. But there's still so many things they could have done that was so much better for including him. Exactly, yeah. there are. There, there are many other ways that could have been done in some kind of form or fashion. Again, the police report idea of Kamoshida turning himself in would have worked. Mm -hmm. It would have mm -hmm. been. The, it would have been the first time he saw the calling card, which would have given him the first time, like, who are the Phantom Thieves. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And because the it would make for good foreshadowing, especially. Because the first time uh, yeah. we because the first time we see Akechi technically in the game is after the Madarame arc. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's the first time we see him. It's after the Madarame arc. After Madarame um has a change of heart. No, wait, actually we did see him earlier. We saw him near the beginning of the game. But that was in a C that was in a, an anime cutscene. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it was more like when the it, the the Phantom Thieves actually do meet Akechi like in person. Mm. Like that's oh. around June, I believe. Like yeah, it, whenever the school trip was supposed to be. Yeah, well that's yeah, on, but that but, well that's what I'm trying to say. The first time that we get uh, in like we see Akechi is during the Madarame arc, and I could see that being woven into the animation. Like again, if they were to do the the calling card idea where he first saw it as like in the police report. And then, of course, sees it on the big screen. Another calling card by the Phantom Thieves. So now he can't just write it off as coincidental. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, that would work better. Yeah, uh, it would. And, and, and I can just say this: um, the, uh, the the like the comedy itself. I was I was like it was you know, it was kind of a, a, a nice pace. It was kind of fast at points, but it was pretty much at like a fine pace. I'm really, really worried that, that that like for these other palaces, they're gonna like skim right through them. And again, <laughs> this 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 part that they added with Akechi, it just ruins. I feel like it. I feel like it 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 messes quite a few things up because if you're a fan, like this is more specifically like if you like casual watchers are not gonna really get what's going on with that scene but a fan is going to immediately notice it and be like what the actual fuck is this mm -hmm. seriously as if we didn't think that the anime was rushing things enough exactly and like mm -hmm. i said i feel like they're kind of hammer fisting a catchy into it as is but i feel like that's as most as well, that's... even a... sorry go ahead go ahead keep going no, keep going. I'll finish up after you. No, but I'm saying I think that's as much as we could talk about, unfortunately, because we have to wait and see what else the anime does with that scene that they showed us. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, the only thing I said, I, I, I know I said this before, but it makes me really worried that they're that they're really gonna rush through the other palaces that uh, now. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be really pissed off if they try to rush through Futaba's palace. 
Uh, I'm I'm going to stay a little uh, hopeful and like they're not going to do that. I'm pretty sure the reason why they did that is mostly to a foreshadow um, Sayori as well as like try and show Akechi once more. Really sloppily, but I think that was what they were trying to do. But and, 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 and I might as well say this: and that and this particular scene doesn't get uh, like you know doesn't get uh, fault isn't like mentioned in the next episode. We're just gonna be like, well, what was even the point? <laughs> so going back to what Nelson said regarding the casual viewers not noticing, I think they're going to notice too, actually, because. That scene we see Makoto and Haru and in episode two they had cameos so that scene basically spoils that they joined the team I think the opening already spoils that they're kind of part of it and the credit scene as well <laughs> well yeah so... enough, but, still. but yeah, yeah but, this, but this is just a blatant spoiler mm -hmm. it is it's because like they're showing it's like wait what, what are those two doing there weren't they just doing other things and now it's like why are they with the group and they're treated like the fan of thieves oh shit they're fan of thieves well, and, yeah, and, and, exactly. And, and, and who is this weird guy with the blue hair? Oh, but, but, oh how would dare you call him weird? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see more of him later. <laughs> but yeah, I have to agree. I'm very concerned about how much they're going to rush through the rest of these arcs. Because the Madarame arc regarding Yusuke is actually really long, considering that the palace has a minimum of five days whereas the rest of the palaces are a minimum of two to three days so they're yeah. going to have to go through quite a bit of stuff with before with use with use k as well and then there's the fact that we still haven't even gotten to mementos yeah, oh, yeah they have to establish that too. i keep forgetting about mementos well, for good yeah. reason memento sucks <laughs> <laughs> but anyways i think we can i think we can end this kind of thing here because, again, we have to wait and see what else the anime does if they address this even further. I, I'm, very, I'm very curious to see if, if like, the next episode uh, addresses any of the things we just said. And I guess... Probably not. And I guess, <laughs> and with that, I think we can end the spoiler part here. Okay. And, okay. All right. So, so... how's everyone doing? I hope everyone <laughs> has had a good time uh, with that long skip. Um, and uh, yeah, everything's well, all if you, if, Well, if you skip, if you skip, then came over here. Welcome back. If you stood around and listened to us ramble about what we were talking about, well, hopefully, we're sorry. Yeah, we're sorry. <laughs> but anyways, we we pretty much did a time skip. But anyways, just to be that guy for a moment, like, even if... I'm not going to spoil anything about what we talked about in the previous topic, but I will say it, it at least gives us an idea of what's going to be happening next because it does, it does like, transition us, the ending part of the episode, it transitioned us into the next target idea, which is involving this picture that we, that we see, in, like, you know, very briefly. Like... Mm -hmm. We know what it is, but I'm pretty sure, like, like you know, we don't want to say it right now. We'll wait for the anime to address it. That was a very beautiful picture. It is, and I just <laughs> looked up the next episode. The next episode's called The Phantoms, which I'm pretty oh, sure... Oh, that's what they're going to name them. Uh, that's the default name, I think, too. Yeah, yeah. which uh, I think this is the episode where they fully establish the Phantom Thieves, so... So it's the party, I think, so... Yeah. Yep. So, how long until Ryuji can't shut his damn mouth? <laughs> when could he ever? <laughs> like, literally, like, literally, just that, that one Twitter video, just of people cosplaying as the Persona 5 mate cast, and the guy as Ryuji coming in with a megaphone, just like, Hey, you guys ready for the Phantom Thieves meeting? I love that clip so much. And then like, on smacks the megaphone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. If y'all have if okay, if y'all have no idea what we're talking about, just look it up. It's on Twitter. It's fucking glorious. It is a great <laughs> Oh and, and, and there's one thing we learned from this podcast is that Dean loves on for hair down. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, I think we can end it here. So, yeah. With that said, what do you think about our thoughts about this episode of Persona 5 The Animation? Disagree with us? Have a different opinion? Or maybe we didn't, or maybe you have a topic that we didn't talk about? Go ahead and leave your comments down below, and we'll discuss it in the comment section. So, until next time, we will see you with the fifth episode, The Phantoms. Till next time, I'm Keenout47, a.k.a. Wolfkeen, along with... I am Demon Kami, so Steam Pwn3000... I am Florigy, and I still think Akira Kurosu is better than Ren Amamiya. 
And I'm Mario Fanboy 15. And, and I'm Mario Fanboy 15, and Mountain Dew is still the best soda. Fight me, Nelson. Go the fuck <laughs> home. Do do, yo. Yeah, please. <laughs> Just go home. Ugh. Till next time, guys. Take care.